you liked the last video, so I'm keeping going with the Fun Ray Challenge to build as many projects as I can from the Dick Smith Fun Ray 1 book. I will set a limit though. I'll only build the projects that you can build from the supplied components. No topping up for my junk box. Though, you never know, maybe after I've finished, I might try some other projects. For today, I'll stick to the book. The next project I'll build is Project 2, the transistor tester. It's actually a piece of test equipment, so you can show whether a transistor is working or not. The transistor tester is pretty simple. It's basically a few resistors and LEDs. One LED is in series with the base to indicate the base current and the other in the collector circuit to indicate the collector current. The idea is that if a transistor is working and is amplifying, then the collector current will be higher than the base current. That should mean that the LED in the collector is brighter than the one in the base. There's two versions, one for NPN and one for PNP. I'll build the NPN version. Before all that, got to dismantle the previous project. The sound effects generator. Admittedly, that was a lot of fun, and I'll miss it. Something I didn't realise before was when cutting things out, I should have cut out along the exact border, because when I do that, if the, the bottom just meets with this, there's a bit of a lip on the blue board, and when that happens, the square centimetre grid correlates with the overlay so that just makes things a little bit neater. As for the parts it's just a handful. A polarity protection diode and two LEDs, two resistors. For memory the blue plastic board was not supplied with the first edition of fun way. The idea then was that you used a scrap of wood. You just had the parts 1 to 10, then 11 to 20, and no board. And then later on they started including the board. And it is definitely, with the, especially with the pre-punched holes, easier than the old timber board, which is what I started with. This is the completed transistor checker. I've taken it inside because it's better to use it when there isn't too much sunlight. You'll see the reason in a moment. This is the transistor under test. It's just a NPN small signal type. That's collector, that's base, that's emitter. We need to match those connections with what's shown on the board. You can see that this is behaving as it should. The base current is much lower than the collector current. So it follows that the LED on the left, in line with the base, is much dimmer than that in the collector line. The difference in brightness indicates that the transistor is operating correctly as an amplifier. You could, if you wanted to, use a multimeter and measure exactly the different currents and then calculate the gain of the transistor. But this proves that the transistor is working and that's mostly all you need. So even though it's very simple, it only uses five components it is actually a practical piece of test gear. So that's our Funray 1 transistor checker, Project 2. There'll be another project in another video soon.